Hi everyone, welcome to my first video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Coco by Rene of Paris in the color Frosty Blonde. But first I'd like to share a little bit about my hair loss story. Um, it's been going on for 30 years. Um, initially I would lose patches of hair and then they would grow back. Um, but for the past two and a half years I um, had complete hair loss and it did grow back but then for the past one and a half years I um, it had fallen out again and just been wearing hats and um, a few months ago I decided to um, dive into wigs and I've been having so much fun um, trying different styles um, different colors and um, just having fun going out um, I hope sharing my story will help you and help others um, in their hair loss journey and um, maybe give you that extra encouragement you need to try wigs for the first time. Um, so let's get going with the cocoa. Um, so cocoa comes in a cute little box. There's some tissue paper. And so I'm attached to the box with these clips um, to keep it from sliding around and comes inside out. Um, it's a basic cap. Um, there's some permities in here, a um, little bit of velvet strip there for comfort. And it has like the, the bra strap adjusters um, in the back also has some um, a little bit of an extended nape and there's some metal stays in here to kind of like um, bend them against your neck to keep the, um, the style of the wig uh, so it's not like kind of sticking out um, away from your neck and looking unnatural uh, so they recommend that you um, shake the wig when you first get it to kind of free up those fibers and especially where the permatease is in the front. Um, the color Frosty Blonde is 50% um, platinum and 50% um, ash brown. And um, before I ordered it, um, I hadn't really researched what colors would look good with my complexion. Um, and while I was waiting for this one, um, I did do some research and discovered that um, warmer colors are better for my complexion. And um, But this one was already on the way, it was back ordered, and I figured I'd try it when it did come. Um, so according to the color chart, I do better with um, like golden blondes and warmer blondes, which is kind of like the color range I'm trying to stick to. Um, I initially kind of went crazy with the longer wigs when I uh, first started wearing wigs and those do, especially with the heat resistant fibers, they tend to um, break down more quickly with the friction against your clothes. Um, I do like them but I now uh, for work especially I'm wearing shorter wigs. They require less maintenance and I just don't have time to like comb through it, you know. Um, a few times a day to keep the tangles out and that kind of thing. Um, so let's try her on. I don't think I'll be keeping this one because of the color. Um, I think it tends to wipe me out too much. Um, so I just kind of find where my hairline used to be and keep the ear tabs um, kind of level. And they also have little metal stays in them, and I kind of curve them to my head so the wig um, stays close to your head. So I've tried this on a couple times, and I don't know. I liked it better the second time, but I don't think I like it enough to keep it. Um, the bangs might need a little work. They're a little bit long. Um, it looked cuter um, online, I guess, when I was looking for this style. And of course, you know, that's what you're going to find is wigs look different on everybody. 
Um, so it may look cute on the, the model, um, on the website that you're looking at, and then when you get it and put it on, it's going to look different. Um, but here we are. So you, you can tuck it. It's very tuckable. Um, There's the back. I like the little flips in the back. Um, would probably put a little product in here to kind of help those stick up a little bit, but it does um, fall nicely against your neck. So let me know what you think. Um, I think I am going to stick to my more uh, warmer blondes and um, I look forward to making more videos for you and if you like this one please subscribe. Thank you.